Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode two of Let's Play Tans. So we left off last time, just giving you the basic overview of you know the UI and uh, a slight understanding of hopefully what the game mechanics are like. Uh, this episode, I'm going to hopefully uh, apply some of that knowledge now to actually run a civilization and. Uh, <laughs> I am nervous as hell. Um, my hands are like shaking. So hopefully I can, you know, show you guys something amazing and not be like, <laughs> derp, derp, derp. So I gotta decide what I want to start with first. Um, so I guess the best thing to do is let's unpause these villagers. Let's start off with that. So there you go. They're spreading out a bit and they, they walk and do their little thing. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to give an order to cut any of these trees down over here. Yeah, something like that. We're going to need trees, so... Oh, I'm doing a bad uh, dragon there. There we go. I don't know if these are trees. No. Or something else. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to go around and actually, you know what? I'm going to tell them to till first, I think. So let's do that. Uh, let's tell them to till this land over here. Because we're going to want to make a farm and food, etc. I don't know how big to do that, but let's do it like that. So we're going to tell them to till next. You can see they chop down all that wood and just leave it on the ground, which is awesome because you can go back and uh, grab it. And uh, it looks like the day and night cycles are actually a little longer than I expected. Um, well, I guess it's only the first day still, but some games, I mean, day one would have already just happened, or it's like already day five, so it looks like they really scale these down. Uh, when they're tilling, it's funny as hell, they just stand on top of it, and you're like, what's what's happening? Are they, are they taking a dump? Which would make sense, because they need fertilizer. Um, so the next thing you can do is uh, we can say planting, and we can say plant wheat, and we can drag from this corner to this corner, and there we go. So now they will plant wheat. Fortunately, we have no wheat yet. So what you want to do is go around and you can do the harvest button and harvest this. So basically I'm double clicking while holding shift just because uh, when you click down, um, let's just say I click here, it does an area like this. It wants you to click the next spot, which is handy. So I just double tap and that works wonderfully. Um, anything scary over here? This looks like a very safe uh, little area. Safer than some of the other maps I've seen before. Let's go over here and go over here. I think we're pretty good here. Oh, somebody's getting hurt or something. Oh, carnivorous, uh, carnivorous plant. I can't even say the word. Oh, look at the wheat. Double wheat here. Awesome. Sweet. You'll see the villagers will come and they'll actually go ahead and they'll dig it up, plunk, and then they're going to come over here and replant it, which is awesome. They got that intelligence. So you don't actually directly control. I can't say, hey, uh, Mike Tyson, go here. Uh, Mike Tyson decides where he's going to go, not where I decide he's going to go, which is uh, pretty cool, I think. So there we go. Yeah, that that's uh, pretty simple. You know, I haven't done this before, and I think I'm going to do it this time. Um, well, I guess you can do anything. Uh, I mean, your, your, your choice to do whatever you want. But what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually till some more land for tree growth. So I'm going to, I don't know what these are for, but I'm going to tell it to cut these down. Hopefully these can be cut down. No. What are you then? Oh, okay. So it's a harvest material. I see. I'm going to just say destroy these. Hopefully this won't, you know, hit me in the ass down the road, but destroy those. And uh, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to actually build, um, I'm going to tell them to till over here more, but I'm going to go ahead. I think this is for tilling actually. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's just hope this is for tilling. I'm not sure if it is or not. Um, I haven't ever done this, so I'm just guessing. I want to plant uh, trees because I'm going to use a lot of trees and I, I'd rather not gut the entire world of trees. So I thought I would start a tree farm right off the bat and see how I made a mistake here. So you can go here and cancel that out before they start building. There we go. Sweet. Um, and I don't know, 
they may be able to walk over trees. I've never, I have no clue. Um, so we'll probably figure that out. Oh my, they're falling asleep. So maybe we can see them actually doing that. Uh, uh oh, how do I, oh no, I lost, oh there they are. Um, oh, okay, so look at, turns to sleep, zero. Oh, and then boom, he's awake again. So some of my villagers were awake. Wow, their happiness is going quite low. Unfortunately, I guess that's really common when you first start. Oh no, what happened? Did I lose somebody? No, something died, I think, though. A wild badger dies. So if we click this log and click the wild badger, it'll show here. So look at this, raw badger meat. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So where where are we now? Haha, <laughs> I lost a... Oh, look at these guys. These are badasses. Froggy. Cool. So, okay, they're still uh, over here doing that. Perfect. So, I'm not sure how tree planting works, but um, I'm going to say I want the most simple trees. Plant tree seedling bush. These don't look like the common one. Which ones are probably more common right now? These trees here look the most common, don't they? Well, there's quite a bit of those too. Let's just say we want these ones then. So let's go over here and put those in. And uh-oh. This may be dangerous. They're coming over here, aren't they? <laughs> so you have to be careful because if you do some insane orders for your villagers, they may go out really far to find something and, you know, they may die from it. So don't be too stupid. And let's let's mix it up. Let's do the other kind here as well. Do you, I wonder though, are the shrubs the same or are they different? Let's hover over them. Gra uh, bush, bush, bush. You know what? They don't, they just say bush. Are they going to come all the way over here? Actually, I think they just did. You know what? It probably doesn't matter. I think all bushes are the same maybe. Um, it's probably like an ID type though when you decide what you want there. Ha! Huh. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. Let's let's go and take the dare and just keep telling them to do it. Go, go, go! <laughs> Actually, only one came this side and they all ran on this side. Where are you guys going? No, there's the bush. Oh! That's a mushroom bush. Oh, okay. Well, clearly you don't want mushroom bushes. Oh, there are pear bushes. And there they go. They're, they are running quite far away. Interesting. Uh oh, there's combat going on. Oh, it was a wild chicken that died recently. It even says autosave happened. That's cool. So that's your system messages. Oh, don't go near the carvinal. Oh, I get scared when they go near that plant. Ta da! Awesome. And over here, so we want them to keep harvesting this grass and keep replanting it. So this is when we use the automation. Um, I'm going to go over here and go to food. Probably not food. Um, materials, I guess? Nope. Am I in a menu? No. Food. Oh, gathering. There you go. And then trees and plants. And then there you go. So... If we tell them to naturally grab five, harvest at five of these at a time, hopefully they will harvest them and replant them. They did automatically go over there, which is awesome. Ah, oh, yes, they are replanting them. Awesome. I wonder if I tell them to auto harvest trees, if they would do that too then. Um, trees and plants, right? Sugar cane. Oh, but this is food. We want materials. Ah, here we go. Chop plant tree. Oh, planted pine tree. So are those considered pine trees that we've been asking to get them? Pine trees, yes. So I assume, uh, and this even tells you how many you have in stock anyways. Uh, I assume if we say we want to keep 10 pine trees in stock, it would go ahead and do that. What happens if we tell it we want 10 of these? Will they only grab? Oh good, I think they will. Good, I was nervous about that. So it seems like this menu will only, oh, whoa. If you hold down shift, you can do it in fives. Well, that's handy. Uh, so this is exactly what I was uh, happy about and worried about. Um, 
they will not actually go out and harvest new trees. Um, they will only harvest things that you've planted. So actually these are planted now. Um, but our order is such a little number that they're not going to do it. But you can tell it to order 10 from here. And this is like a cute order. So it's going to harvest. See? Oh my god, that's awesome. I had to clap, sorry. Awesome. And they just put the wood there because we have nowhere to put it. So, yeah, that's going well. So, uh, let's check out our villagers' health. They're probably really tired. Their happiness is kind of low. Um, I'm a little worried about their food levels, actually. Their food levels are... Uh, ooh. Turns to eat. Oh, they start with a buffer of food. Nice. I don't know what the original buffer was, unfortunately, but that is good they do start with quite a nice buffer so the next thing is we're probably gonna want to have to feed these guys um, oh, look at the wild badger oh badgers are known to steal food aren't they probably not in this game though um, actually you never know I wonder he's a sneaky ass badger <laughs> Okay, so the next thing we're going to want is food. So I think the best food source is to try to find those fruit and apple trees, which we already saw over here. And honestly, I think that may be a good idea. This may be a risky decision to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get them to get one row of apple trees, one row of pine trees. Like I said, this is probably a very risky decision. Um... Actually, no, it doesn't look like it's risky at all. They, they don't seem to actually be getting them, so... <laughs> actually, unless they're already out there getting them. This seems like a really safe area, though. I'm going to ask them to go over here and harvest this. So what we can do is, of course, we can do the harvest. And we go from here... Oh, hold on, shift. And here, there you go. Gotta get used to, you're on an angle and how the X and Y and... I keep derping. Oh, here we go. Cool. Ooh, I didn't know you guys were going to go around that way, but not too bad. Cool. <laughs> oh, cool. There's a harvest. So one, I guess I can get used to some of this harvesting range style. Hopefully they grab these uh, apple bushes. Oh. I'm not sure if there's a way to order them to do that, but... Oh! My goodness, they are actually doing it. Oh, no. Oh! Wild cow dies. Can't be chopped. May needs excess pine trees. Chop can't be made. Needs an accessibility. Planted pine trees. I wonder... They can walk in there, I'm pretty sure. It was probably something that derped up. Cool. And there they go. They're planting them in there. Look at that. Planted apple. Cool. Look at the cow sitting there. <laughs> no! Stop making those sounds! A, a wild badger dies. I wonder if we can... F oh, yeah, we can follow these bodies. So here's the badger. He died over here. Bones are dropping from them. Interesting. Do they all drop bones, I guess? Uh, cow dies. Yeah, bones. You know what would be cool? And this is probably me overdoing it. Maybe if you went over here and hold shift, you can actually go and hover over, like, you know, if you click this and hold down shift, you can go and scroll down to the wild dot chicken dies, for example, and click it. Sort of leaving the menu open. That, that would be cool. I don't know. It's just a weird suggestion. Um, yeah, this all looks really cool. So, oh good, these guys are still going. Hey, there's stuff there. Oh, they're still picking them up. Awesome. Cool. So now I want to look into... Hmm. A carpentry. We probably want it close over here, but we don't want it too close. I'm going to go ahead and destroy this. This is cool, you can destroy things. Though it's a bit odd, because I did notice I can go here and... Uh, these carnival plants are eating everything, for example, so I could actually destroy that. That I was a bit iffy on. Um, it seems odd that you can do that, but I guess that's cool uh, also. I don't know. I just was iffy about that because they're kind of a violent evil, you know. <laughs> it's almost like that you have to fight your way through them and 
But so you, some things you can delete, some you can't. So of course I can't go around and delete a mob or whatever. I couldn't delete a, a cow. It says kill cow, actually. Oh, maybe you can order them to kill the cow. Oh, I don't want to kill that. Holy crap! A wild... What? Something beetle? What was over here? Man, I wish I didn't delete those plants. Maybe they're protecting me. <laughs> okay, so we're going to check the zones here. Um, I was looking into carpentry, so... I want to build things around here, but I don't want to overdo it as well. Um, oh, we could build things in here, too. Actually, let's do that. Let's do some mining. So, uh, let's tell them to... Clear this. Move, 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 move! Whoa! Oh, I love that ticking sound. And then we can tell them to go in. And then we can probably just go like this. I don't know what these gray borders are mean. Maybe if it, it's telling you if you want there, if there's going to be out air, like outside air coming in. I'm not sure. Let's zoom out one. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So that's cool. You'll you know where to not go. So all this is indoors. Oh, here it is. So it is day four now. So the time has been moving. <laughs> cool. And look, you can see all the resources sitting on the ground. So if you don't want mud, you can delete it all. I'll leave it for now and probably store it away after. Um, hello, miss. Look at her go. <laughs> Oh my god, so many monsters are dying. A rooster died. Man, there's roosters in this game too? <sighs> a wild chicken died. Stop killing every mob in the game. I assume that, you know, mobs replenish over time, because I have no clue, but, uh... Oh, this is that animal, a wild shootin' beaten. Shootin' beaten? Shoot... Shootin' beaten. Shootin' beaten. I'm just gonna guess that's a shootin' beaten. Hey, they got nothing named after me. Oh, look at this. Froggy. Uh, birdie. Do they really call it birdie? No, bird. <laughs> I thought it was birdie. Boar. Raw pu poultry. I guess that's chicken. Carcass or whatever. And if you're new to watching my videos, I'm not the best guy in the world at English. So let's zoom out here. Good, it looks like everything's sealed. And we can hit Z and make sure. Good. Looks like we didn't screw up and uh, dig in. So now we have an indoors. We can go ahead and add some zones in here. Um, I think you need personal rooms to expand. We'll look into that uh, next uh, time. But, uh, okay, carpentry. First thing on the menu. So we can go like this, I guess. And I'm not sure how much we even need. You can do smallest of everything, it seems, by 3x3. Three by three. Um, so I'm just gonna go like this. Wow, these trees are really growing in here. And, uh, there we go. And now we have to go and go to the utilities and build the carpenter's bench. So, I'm gonna just say build one there. Let's delete, uh, destroy mod. There we go. One there. Oh. There we go. One there, one there, and one there. Um, she's on a task, so she's probably doing it. Oh, look at Ah, uh, they just, like, carry the entire bench with them. I guess because that's made out of raw wood and it's, like, the very first thing you need. Instead of them working at a, you know, uh, a table, because they had to create the table. That's how that works. It'd be kind of cool if they had to make an elementary table and then a, a more professional table, but that, then that would be just probably annoying. Uh, a wood detailer. Uh, sounds like carpentry anyways. Uh, let's try it out. Let's just have, uh, two of them here. There they go, with the wood again. Oh, auto save. Neat 
more wood. It looks like they need two wood. I guess if we hover over it, it tells you. Oh, it needs wood, wood, and stone. And something's getting on. Ooh. We have our very first villager death, guys. Oh, crap. The villager was over here. What is he doing down here? Oh, fruit trees are down here, guys. Oh, crap. He's creating a stink cloud. I wonder what happens with that. I hear some people say that's bad to leave that, but you know what? I think I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> you know what it is? It's probably these. I should probably cancel these now. They may be trying to come over here to gather some of the shrubs. We don't want all our villagers to die before the... <laughs> uh, hunger. How is everyone's hunger now? Not too bad so far. Actually, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, it's getting worse. So we could probably tell them to auto-harvest this, but we probably should make barrels from the store. Oh, they don't have enough stone, do they? Um, mine. That's probably... If we hit Z. There you go. Look at the girl. Yank. Probably what she needed to make this last uh, table. Oh, why are you down there, girl? What are you doing down there? Oh god, there's something blinking down there. What is that? Oh, that's her blinking, I guess? I am so confused. I'm thinking I better destroy the stink cloud. It seems like it's gonna, like, cause the whole entire world to go to hell if I didn't. <laughs> oh crap. Girl, you're gonna die, aren't you? He's healthy. You're mortally wounded. Oh, man. We're gonna have no one left if they keep going over here. Yes! The froggy's getting known by the plant there. Yeah! He's got a bleeding effect on him. Okay, so... We got those built. Uh, what was I gonna build, guys? What was I gonna build? Oh, yeah, storage. Um... Let's destroy this mud. Destroy this mud. Actually, hmm. let's go ahead and destroy a bunch of this mud. Oh crap! He's coming right into. Oh man, he's hopping up the hill. He's coming for me, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and make storage containers back here somewhere. Uh, raw materials barrel. So I'm gonna say one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That makes sense. Wood, wood, wood. Awesome. So it's nothing but wood needed. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. I have Z on. I'm like, I'm out of wood already, guys. <laughs> so we could probably say, uh, destroy mud. We could probably actually say, it looks like we have a ledge there. That's why it's a little dark there. Probably if we went up one level. Yeah, see the ledge. <laughs> um, we could probably say raw materials out here too. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we could probably tell the barrels to fill those barrels with uh, those wood. And then we could tell it to literally keep like 50 wood on stock. Unless if everyone dies. Oh, what about that guy who is coming up here? Oh crap, here he is. Oh, he is definitely making his way down. Shoo! Oh shit, what is that guy's problem? I think he's hungry. Guy wearing bald and pink. <gasps> he is hungry, guys. Oh man, I can't have a villager hungry. So let's go ahead and... Because uh, they're going to start running all the way where I had those trees harvested. Let's tell them to go ahead and harvest these guys here. There we go. We still have to do something about that. So you can see I told them to keep harvesting five of these. So literally five of these are actually harvest now. Um, actually, I derped up, didn't I? I was zoomed out. You guys don't harvest something that was out there, so I couldn't even harvest that when I told it to. 
Um, no, I'm not. There we go. And Z. Okay, there we go. Now, go down here and harvest this. Ta-da! Get some food in those bellies, no time. So you remember I told them to keep five automated over here? Well, that's what's happening here, is five. Um, and these guys and girls should be working on those barrels. Yep, the barrels are coming in. One barrel there. It's a lot of wood, and they're getting a lot of their wood from over here, so... probably time to actually tell it to start keeping. Yeah, it doesn't even tell you to. Uh, interesting. Oh, no, my mistake. This is automatically actually going up. They're saying, oh no, we need to do seven. And it's actually going up. So it's automatically queuing up the wood, which, there you go. So that's how that, that, that left side queue works. So the left side is more of a queue of what they have to do, and the right side is how many you want automated and keep in storage. And look at all the apples sit there. <laughs> Girl, you need to drop that wood and eat an apple. Hopefully she comes back and does that right after she delivers that wood. This guy's hungry too. No, why wouldn't... Oh, there we go. You're the man. Let's follow this girl. Let's see if she's smart and goes for the food, too. Left, left, left! Break left! Break left! No! No! You're hungry. You want to eat? Oh, well. She'll get there eventually. I guess she's in the... Oh, she, you need how many for the barrels? Three? So she's on a queue to actually keep doing it till she builds the barrel, probably. Oh, yeah, she placed the barrel, and then she zoomed right to the food. She's like, I want that damn food now. Awesome. Did we get all these? Oh, you know what? We got most of them. I can't tell if she's on one. So now we can start saying raw material. So I can say... Uh, manage raw material barrel and uh, cool. Whoa! I was gonna say, I thought there was more options, and then this popped up. Like, yeah, there's more options. So we can tell it to do barrels. Let's enable also. So I wanted to sort these and actually set what I wanted per barrel. Now I'm not sure if I can actually, hmm. No, unfortunately I don't think I can set multiples at once. Uh, you have to do one at a time it looks like. So you just have to remember where mud was, so mud. Okay, and then we go with the, actually is he on one? Oh crap. Manage raw material barrel. Did I set one on these? Okay, so I set that one. They're they're standing on it, so... <laughs> uh, oh, mud is enabled for that third one. For some reason, I didn't think I did it for one of these, but it did. It, oh, this one I didn't do. Okay, so that's the third one. Here's the fourth one. Manage barrels, mud. Uh, manage raw materials, mud. Manage raw material. Oh crap, they're fighting the. <sighs> yeah! They kicked his ass. He sent him back to hell. So when you have multiple villagers fighting, they, they work well. If you have one fighting, they, they die. Okay, I think we've done it all. So now when we hover over this, oh yeah, look at all the mud it shows. Cool. So all these barrels I've told to store just mud. And look, it's cleaning up all the mud for me. Awesome. So these barrels out here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say manage raw materials. And, oh, do we go into save mode there? I'm not sure. I had a little spike there. And we're going to tell it to actually keep the wood in here. And then we'll just go to the same thing here. And keep the wood. Same thing again. Wood. Um, don't know if I did that one. No. There we go. 
y you're hungry, but... Oh, shoot. You guys ate all that food already? Holy crap. I guess you guys go through a lot of food. Those trees don't even have time to plant themselves. We need to make something for food. Um, maybe for now we can go over here and harvest these, but we definitely need to do something about food. Um, let's tell it to go from here. Oh, wow. Let's start from, like, here to... <laughs> it's probably going to harvest a little too much, but whatever. There we go. You know what? We weren't even on the level when we did that. <laughs> Maybe it's good we were. Um, we should take care of our own in our village. Let's check out how bad the food issue is. Oh, man. Where did all that food go, though? Didn't you guys just eat a bunch of food? I guess apples aren't nutritious. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get this farm going. So, um, we need to hurry and build this before all my villagers die in this episode. The series already ends. <laughs> so, use to create flour. Uh, let's place this beside here. Actually, probably don't want to put it there if I want to expand it. Oh, on the way too though, right? So, um, yeah. Whatever, we'll put it right beside it here. Let's get rid of this. Yeah, I'll just destroy it. Oh crap, was I not flat on the grass? Actually, I was. Oh, I need a masonry bench, so we need to actually make a new uh, thing here. Um, oops. Zone and masonry. Okay. How many did I do there? Uh, four? Like that, I think? Yeah. Okay, so let's make this masonry thing here. It's probably one of the top ones, isn't it? Here we go. One, two. I forgot we don't have a lot of stone, do we? Yeah, well, let's just tell them to do that anyways. <laughs> so we need a bunch of stone now. So now we need to order our villagers to actually expand their digging. So we probably want to do this anyways dig into a cave, or, you know, into this anyways over time, so hopefully that's not all dirt. Okay, and that's all dirt. No! Oh, there's some stone. Unfortunately, that is quite a lot of... Oh, here's some stone here. I don't want to go there. Oh, here we go. stone now. Um, mine. But, what? Oh, never mind. I see. You can see it light up for the part you can. Let's do it. There. That'll give us some stone. <laughs> oh man, they look like zombies. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my loves. Oh my. What? That badger. Kill the wild badger. I think he's eating my food or stealing it. I'm starting to wonder. It is odd that he is hanging in there. Probably Eden, though. You poor things, it looks like you're all gonna die on me. I hope hunger isn't like. Well, hunger can be death. I went too far, I did. You know, I was a little too smart ass, and. I ended up, like, killing all my villagers. <laughs> They're eating. 
I don't know what he's eating and what's even there. Oh, are you eating the badger? Or are you fighting it? No, I think he's eating the damn badger. Sick bastard. I don't think that's really good. Oh, oh. Fruitful, slow. Huh. Okay, those guys are finally making those. So we can go ahead and finally tell it to make a mill. <laughs> Let's make two mills. Not that we actually have the labor power to make two mills anymore. They're so tired. Hey, the guy's sleeping while carrying a table. And she's sleeping. Um, let's go ahead. So we have the mill. Uh, we need something. How do we bake? I'm not a baker. I guess this is a good way to go through it. Um, baking. And we're going to just make bread. So we need a baker table and a bacon a oven. Oh, okay. So we need a kitchen now. We're going to tell them to harvest five bread, which requires flour, which is what we're making over here with the, uh, the mill to create flour. Awesome. So, uh, let's go ahead and make that kitchen. Kitchen, kitchen. I need a private chef here. Did I pass the kitchen? Tavern. <laughs> Never mind, it wasn't one of my guys. Hospital, kitchen, here we go. <laughs> Stop making you're like you're gonna die sounds. C, so we can get right to here. Okay, here we go. Actually, you know what? I don't want a kitchen here. Please don't tell me about that. I almost want it out here. I don't know if that's possible. Well, I guess it is possible. I want my kitchen out here, and I'll build a house for it eventually. So it is out in the middle of nowhere, but I want to do it, so too bad. How did I lose the kitchen again? <laughs> did I honestly lose the kitchen once again? Here it is. We're going to put the kitchen there. So, uh, utilities. And now we're going to look for... It would be kind of cool if these were dulled out if you... Well, maybe they already are. Um, not really. I don't think they are. Be cool if they had like an option to dull them out if you don't have the requirements for them yet. I mean, some of these you can't actually place yet, so that'd be kind of cool. But it probably require more calculations. Uh, a baker's table. Oh, you need a baker place, not a kitchen. Derp. So I was screwing up anyway, so we need a bakery, guys. A bakery. It's probably one of the first ones, huh? Yep. Let's do a bakery there. Nice. Okay. Um, now we want a baking table. You know, baking table. Oh. Yep, we got it. Baking table. And baking table. And then we want... A baking oven thingy, my bopper. What is this called? A burner? A smelter? A stove? A baker's oven. There we go. And we just interlace those like that. There was the autosave. And you poor things, you probably don't even know what the hell you're doing anymore, do you? Yeah! No! Why? They're dying. Yeah! They're all dying, I think. I think I'm game over, guys. My villagers are hungry and fatigued. Oh my god, there is actual food to harvest. No! They're all dying! They can't make it, guys! They can't make it! Everyone drop what you're doing and grab the food! No! <laughs> They're all dying! <laughs> Three villagers left! You need to eat, my loves! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you must eat! No! 
Uh, no, we're down to two villagers. How am I going to even advertise to come join my village now that they're all dead? Oh my. Oh, we saved two somehow. We better destroy all these corpses everywhere. They've completely died everywhere. Oh no, there's a goblin! Ugh. No! One villager! No! Go, go, go! Go! Yes! One alive! Oh my god! Oh, poor girl. Almost need to bury her. Gotta destroy all these corpses. What a bloody mess. Think about her. She's not having a good time. Oh shit! Whatever, we'll fix that after. Destroy Stink Cloud. Destroy. Okay, there we go. Destroy. I guess we have to destroy them if they didn't make it to their location. So the mill is supposed to go over here. But it didn't make it there. So I don't know if we just destroy it. I'm just going to destroy it. Oh my guys. I can't believe I was such a screw up there. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually say. I guess that's it for this episode. At least this girl has some food. Um, and next time, you stay put. I don't need you to die. Let's see how our goblin situation is. No goblins nearby right now. Good. You stay put, miss. Um, so next time, yeah, we're going to see if we can repopulate our village at all. Uh, it may take some time. It may be a really slow episode, but I'll see you guys next time. Um, learned a lesson. Feed your damn villagers. Um, hardcore. Yeah, look at all the starved messages. They all starved. I can't believe I did that. Let's make sure I don't have any more corpses around here. No, I think we're good. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my stupidity, and I will see you guys soon.